Okay, we are here with John Cairns in the wind tunnel. Uh, how are you going today, John? Very well. It is, uh, it is very windy up here. We it are is, on a it roof. is windy. Yeah. We're on a roof garden. The best place to have an interview. Um, we do have a beautiful scene of Melbourne behind us, though, so that's exciting. Oh, is that? Yeah. I mean, it looks great. But uh, for me, it's, 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 it's appalling. Would you, I don't know if you'd like it. What kind of comedy are you into? Um, all sorts of comedy. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what it, what it, what kind of comedy it is? Uh, I like the idea that you know, my type of what I do on stage is maybe very different to what it looks like on the surface. So, what uh, inspired the wig and the teeth? I did like comedy as me, like how I'm talking to you now. Yeah. But like, I just put all that stuff on because uh, it made me laugh. Which it kind of unlocked something in my head where when I went on stage I was I felt as though I had a, I had a, a reason to be there whereas just a 25 year old white guy who's like been brought up okay with nothing really wrong apart from what everyone has wrong with them it's just I was just boring myself so you know when you're doing like an hour show there is a pressure to maybe have uh, philosophies or ideas and I mean, I'd like to think that my ideas and all that kind of stuff are in my show, but the first port of call has to be, is it funny? If I was waiting for a train and uh, I saw a dog driving it, <laughs> I'd get on, you know? <laughs> Why? Two reasons. He got there, fair enough. Um, and uh, if there's any delays, I want to hear that announcement, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it allows you to get away with a lot more. And have you found that it's um, been a good experience so far at the Melbourne Comedy Festival? Is this your first? I was here last year okay. and it was, uh, on paper it, it went well. I got nominated for the Barry and stuff, so that was exciting. So having come back this year, it's actually touch wood going very nice. And I think that's because of the experience I had last time. Like, it went well, but I was very rough around the edges. If, if last year's show was like, kind of almost like this primal roar, uh, this year's is more of a, I don't know, I spent, I spent time writing it, which I, di I didn't last year. There's a real step up from this show uh, compared to last. And I, I've, I've really seen that in the audiences here, um, which is lovely, really is. Yeah, so what, what would you say that your forte in comedy is? Um, well, I, someone told me <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't particularly have uh, jokes. Silence <laughs> plays a big part in, in what I do. I, I was reading this thing about Pixar, about the, like, the, 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 the key to how they make their films. And one of them was, don't be afraid of the, of the silent parts. I guess I play around with that quite a bit, you know. I don't panic because I, in my head I've said it, I've committed to it, and it, there's a reason behind why I've done it. So I'm not, I'm not afraid of, of silence, which, you know, is not a good sell for a comedy gig, <laughs> I, I have to admit. But, um, yeah. And I think that's what I do on stage. I think people watch me and they're like, why the hell is he wearing that? Why do you say that? He's just looking at us now. But I think that, that audience is like that because there's a trust, I think. Well, it sounds pretty intriguing. I'm quite intrigued. Yeah, I think I've, I've been so vague <laughs> that people are like, well, I, uh, I, I'm going to go see it just because I have no idea what he's talked about for the last five minutes. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I think that's a pretty good reason to go see it. Just to, to figure out what what it really is about. Why, why I've been flown out to the other side of the world yeah. to perform in the basement of a hotel. Yeah. What the hell's he up to? There's got to be something going on there.